So we will be covering some really basic things today that include introduction to the interface, navigation, and a very, very basic scene. So let's get started. So when you start Blender, you will be received by the screen. As you can see, I have the 2.9 installed. Blender has different panels. The most important one is viewport display. This is where you work with your meshes. Now all these panels are also resizable. One on default layout, we have four panels, viewport, outliner, properties and animation. Outliner behaves as layers in Photoshop. You can select a mesh from there, change its name, decide to show or hide it. Similarly, you can hide whole collections. Collections is like groups in Photoshop. They can be more than one collection in your project. Then coming to animation panel. This helps in animating. You decide the start and end frames and add keyframes in between. Now, now for the properties panel. This is where most of the technical works technical work takes place. For example, render settings, world settings, physics, simulation, modifiers, and much more. Now as we know, Blender covers the whole pipeline. So to adjust the extra clutter, Blender has made different tabs so that unwanted options can be kept away. These are called active workspace tabs and they provide different options for interfaces. Basically, they are like Google Chrome tabs. Now you can make a custom layout as well by clicking the small icon on top left corner and it gives you all the options of panel. Also, you can merge two panels by right clicking on their common border and selecting join areas option. You can also swap areas by the help of these options. Now to make a new panel, you click and drag a corner of, pre of a pre-existing panel and now change the panel to whatever you want. We are done with the basic interface. Now we can move on to the navigation portion. So navigation in Blender is quite easy. The top right side of the viewport helps with navigating and panning and the left side helps with transformations of the meshes like rotation, scaling and movement. We are not discussing any shortcut keys to keep this tutorial simple. So first of all, this arrow tools helps with movement. If you drag while holding one axis, the movement will be constrained to that axis. For navigation, we use the top right menu. This helps us rotate our view in the three dimensions. Right below this, we have the zoom tool. We use it by clicking and dragging. And the hand option helps us to pan our view in whatever direction we want. So with the help of just three tools, we can move in any direction. Now coming back to the left side, we can use the scale option to change the size of the mesh. Now we are ready to make our own scene. To add more meshes, 
we press shift plus a so we press shift a and go to meshes and choose plane now we increase the size of the plane move the cube a little bit and press the camera button from the menu on the right this switches us to the camera mode now we resize and place our meshes according to the camera view now we will press shift a go to meshes again and choose a uv sphere we move it so that it looks like it's placed on the surface now we have you now we have these different viewport shading options by default it is solid mode we can switch it to any other mode while working We will shift to render mode, it's the last one out of all four. Now I'm duplicating my light and moving it. You can duplicate by shift D. Now to make our ball look a little bit smoother, we right click it and press shade smooth. Switch back to the camera view and our scene, our basic scene is ready. So guys, so guys that's all for today and I will be uploading my next tutorial very soon. This tutorial was not for scene building but an introduction to get you started in Blender. Hope you like it and if you do. Maybe consider following me on Instagram and supporting me on Patreon. And if you have any other suggestions, feel free to drop a comment. That's been it. See you in the next one.